Hey, super wonderful, awesome, fantastic, amazing, um, super, super, I already said super, but I'm saying it again, Facebook small group leaders. This is a message just for you. Um, first of all, I just want to say how honored I feel that you would even consider joining um, our online Bible studies team. Thank you so much. I'm especially talking to my new gals, but you other ones, you seasoned leaders, you know how I feel about you too, but especially to the new girls. Um, thank you so much. We are just, we can't do what we do without you. And it's so much fun to be on a team. We can take up for each other's slack. We can encourage each other, be there for each other, laugh, cry, and do life. So um, just thank you for doing this. It is gonna take some time and it's gonna take some energy and you're gonna need to be on your knees at times. You're gonna have times of discouragement and you're also gonna have times of growth and encouragement. So just be prepared. Pray um, that God will keep your mind alert and also, you know, that you'll be, you're, you'll keep your sensible mind. You know, like when you start to feel inadequate or you start to feel like you're not as good as someone else or somebody's doing videos and you're not or whatever. I want you to look at your strengths. God put you here for a reason. Whoever you might be comparing yourself to, let me tell you why you shouldn't do that. Because God did not need two of that person. He needed you. He needed each one of us being the individuals that we are. So let's trust him that he put you in the right, right group, that he put you with your strengths and weaknesses and everything about you, your whole makeup. You have it for a reason and he's going to use it all to, um, to further his kingdom. We're saying yes to God in this study. So ladies, we need to model that for the ladies that we're leading, not in a fake way, but in a real life way. We're saying yes to God. And with that comes a lot of responsibility. It comes with challenges. And um, anyway, so I want you just to embrace all of that. Just a few little reminders. Um, let's be respectful of our Facebook pages, specifically the leader page and the Proverbs online Bible studies page. Remember what they're there for because with so many people on one page, it can get really crowded quick. And so um, we don't want it to become chaotic and real busy. We want there to be a purpose behind every post. So just think before you post. If, you're, if you have a question, I really wanna encourage you to go to your team leader and your teams can talk about some things. But um, if you want like a lot of advice or you have a question that you think a lot of leaders might have that same question, please, please, please post it on the leader page. And then the ministry page, um, just leave that open for um, me to post on, Lisa Cramp, and um, a few other leaders that we might ask to post there. But um, you can comment there under our post, but don't put any direct post on that page. And go to the blog, please. Um, that's where the study takes place. So I want everyone, all of you as leaders, you need to read the Proverbs 31 blog every time there's a post. So um, make sure you're doing that because it's pretty hard to lead a Bible study if you aren't keeping up with the Bible study yourself. I don't think I'm going to have that problem with any of you because you're such good girls. Okay, don't I look beautiful today? Um, not necessarily in the face, but look at this scarf. Ooh, it came from California. Thank you, Amber Oatman. Anyway, it's so pretty. I had it waiting for me at home when I came back from She Speaks, and um, I couldn't wait to wear it. So anyway, haha, ha, I have a pretty scarf. I hope you do too. Okay, ladies, I've taken up enough of your time. Stephanie Raquel said two minutes and I am up two minutes and like 10 seconds over. Gotta go. Cha-ta.